Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, I'm exhausted. It is day two of camp and I'm in my pajamas and I have dropped Bo off for breakfast and I worried so much about what I was packing for him. <laughs> the only shoes I have are my boots. So I'm wearing boots and pajamas. We're good. Do you do that? Do you just worry about the kid and forget all about yourself? Well, it is raining and every activity they have organized is rafting, canoeing, swimming. <laughs> so it's going to be quite interesting. Now Bo handled yesterday really, really well. Um, not one call for backup, so to speak, although the saint of a um, of an aide was amazing and was in constant communication. I actually even text the vice principal who um, helped me sort everything out before we left last night just to thank him and let him know that things were going incredibly smoothly. Um, However, Bo's woken up this morning saying he feels sick. Now, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I He doesn't lie. And that's one of those wonderful saintly things about autistic kids is that just, they don't lie. But I think he's feeling concerned. It's, it's now a full day. Um... Oh, look at that. <laughs> I, I just got a message through because I sent a text message to the, to the aide saying, um, I'm here to drop Bo off for breakfast and I'm parked undercover because it's raining. And I accidentally sent it through to the vice principal of the school. <laughs> I had to write, oh, sorry, that wasn't for you. And he's just written back. He's like, morning, Gemma. <laughs> I'm so glad these, I've met these people. You know what I've worked out? It's not the school that's the problem. School is like panning for gold. You have to find the right people. And okay, it's a brand new school. And it's, you know, I don't know everybody. They don't know me. We don't know the aides, the, the teachers, all this and that. And I told you I did that in my vent and my frustration about that whole, you know, too many cooks, you know, spoiling the broth. Um, but I've found my two gold nuggets and I'm going to hold on to those two gold nuggets like you would not believe. So anyway, Bo said he's not feeling well. I am, I'm in my pajamas with a beautiful pair of high heel boots on. Uh, I've dropped him off. There's no way they're going to be doing those activities. How they, uh, look, without technology, how they're going to keep him interested. If they play a movie, we're screwed. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what we'll do. Um, in fact, any, other than, other than sort of games, um, any activity that they do indoors is going to be a real problem. He's just going to pace up and down, back and forward. And I hate him doing that, not because... Not because I don't like him doing it, but because it really does make a huge... Oh my God, look at the bags under my eyes. It really does make a huge... It, it, it points him out differently, you know, that stimming, that pacing. And he'll also verbally stim at the same time that he paces. So it really does make him look different. But hey, you know what? He is different. And if we're going to fly the autism flag, then at least people are going to, you know, they're going to know and they're going to understand. The kids are going to see... We'll see how we go. So anyway, fingers crossed. It is the crappiest day we have had in like six months. Uh, and I don't think they're going to be doing any outdoor activities. So we'll see how we go. But I, I'm going back into my room. I'm going to try and do some work. Uh, and we'll see how we go. So yay, everybody. Happy camp day number two. Fingers crossed. 
thank you everybody yesterday for all of your support and all of your little comments and things like that. I know you know what we're going through. Um, you know what? My heart bleeds for those that... Well, my heart bleeds for me too, actually, because I'm getting bugger all work done and it's really stressing me out. And the truth is, if I don't get work done, then, you know, I don't have a roof over my head. But I've brought my work down here. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah, it's a silly thing to say, but I love you guys all so much. You've been such incredible support. You really have. And I hope that I've supported you the way you've supported me because that's, that's, that's what this is all about. 